Hello, today we're looking at the reproductive system of a plant and the reproductive organ of a plant, which is a flower. And, but obviously it looks like this in a cartoon, but on the inside it looks a bit different. So in a plant we have both male and female parts of the flower. So this part over here is the male part and it's called the stamen. The section at the top is called the anther and the section at the bottom is called the filament. The female part is made of a few different things. We have uh, the stigma at the top here, that's this section over here, and the bottom of the stigma is called the style and that leads down over here to the ovary, which is the same name for the female reproductive organ in a human. One thing that I forgot to add is that all of this female part together is called the carpel. Now some other parts we might recognise of a flower include the petal here and this little green thing underneath there and that's called the sepal. Now we learn about gametes in a human. A gamete is a sex cell and so in a human we have male and female sex cells and the male sex cell is sperm and a female sex cell uh, is an egg cell. In a plant we have slightly different gametes and we have male gametes that's pollen and we can see some of these pollen grains over here that are made in the anther and are released from there. Female sex cell in a plant is an ovule. These are our ovules over here that are uh, produced in the ovary. So if we have a look at one of these real plants, we can see that we have a petal there. And in the middle, we can see we've got two different types of things poking out. Over here is a stamen with an anther on the top and then a filament dropping down. And over here, we have a carpal with a stigma at the top and a style dropping down. And that's going to lead towards where the ovary is and probably about here. In this plant as well we can see it uh, a bit more clearly. Uh, the, this is the stamen here, this, uh, this whole structure is the anther and then probably down here is the filament and we can see the tiny little pollen grains that are going to leave and find a different plant. Uh, this is our carpal with the stigma at the top and then our style down there leading somewhere in there to where the ovaries of a plant are. Hopefully that's given you an introduction to the reproductive system of a plant. We'll look at how it actually um, reproduces, how it actually pollinates and fertilizes in another video later.